1947. Who is Glenn Close? Glenn Close began her acting career in theater before making a splash with an Academy Award-nominated performance in the world according to Garp. She established herself as a bona fide leading lady with Oscar-nominated roles in Fatal Attraction and Dangerous Liaisons, along the way claiming three Tony Awards for her stage work. Close later earned strong praise for carrying the legal drama damages, as well as more Oscar consideration for Albert Nobbs and the wife. Early Years Close was born on March 19, 1947, in Greenwich, Connecticut, into an upper-class family with a long history in the northeastern United States. She grew up with two sisters, Jessie and Tina, and one brother, Sandy. Although her parents, Dr. William Close and Betty Moore Close, were both born into elite social circles, they did not raise Close and her siblings in that world. My parents were real black sheep in Greenwich, Close once noted. The milieu was highly social and very elite, and we had that as our heritage, my grandparents founded Round Hill Country Club. But we never participated in that kind of a life. I've always been a little bit proud of that fact. In 1954, Close's parents joined Moral Rearmament MRA, a group with cult-like trappings that sent its members out into the world to convert people to its brand of spirituality. When Close was 13, her parents moved the family to the Belgian Congo, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo, to spread the word, Dr. Close also operated a clinic there. Glenn Close split her time in those years between Africa and boarding schools in Switzerland. She later attended the prep school Rosemary Hall back in Greenwich before joining the MRA-associated singing group Up With People, with which she toured throughout Europe and the United States for four years. Close broke away from the group at age 22 in order to attend the College of William and Mary, where she studied drama and anthropology. Stage Success After college, Close moved to New York City. There, she and good friend Meryl Streep joined the Phoenix Theatre Company. Close soon began her acting career in earnest. She made her Broadway debut in 1974's Love for Love. At first, she loved the stage so much that she did not seriously consider film acting. I went into acting just thinking about the stage, she said. All the games I used to play as a child, I never even thought about movies. The actress eventually won her first Tony Award, in 1984, for the role of Annie in The Real Thing. Oscar nods for Garp, Fatal Attraction, Dangerous Liaisons. Close's talent ultimately translated well to the silver screen. In 1980, after seeing her in a Tony-nominated role in Barnum, director George Roy Hill cast Close as Jenny Fields, a feminist writer, in The World According to Garp. She garnered a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination this first film role, as she did for follow-up efforts in The Big Chill, 1983, and The Natural, 1984. Glenn Close's reputation as a powerful dynamo in Hollywood was cemented by her role of Alex Forrester, a seductive but psychotic stalker, in the 1987 thriller Fatal Attraction. During filming, Close found out that she was pregnant with her first and only child, Annie Maud Stark, with father John Stark. Only seven weeks after giving birth to Annie, Close started filming a lead role in Dangerous Liaisons, 1988, for which she received another Oscar nomination. By the 1990s, Close was in her 40s, an age when many actresses have a difficult time finding roles. Many are typecast as mothers, and Close couldn't entirely avoid this predicament, she even agreed to play Gertrude to Mel Gibson's Hamlet in the 1990 film version, despite being only eight years older than her on-screen son. Tony wins and comedic roles. Around this time, Close was again making waves for her devotion to her first love, theater. She won the Tony Award for Best Actress in 1992 for Death and the Maiden, and again as Andrew Lloyd Webber's hand-picked Norma Desmond in the 1995 revival of Sunset Boulevard. Close also took more comedic roles on the big screen, such as Cruella de Vil in 1990's XS Live Action 101 Dalmatians and First Lady Marcia Dale in 1990's XS Mars Attacks. Additionally, she enjoyed a recurring voice acting role on the animated television show The Simpsons as Mona Simpson, Homer's estranged mother. TV work, The Shield, and Damages. In the 2000s, Close was recognized for her powerful performances on television, beginning with her addition to the fourth season of The Shield. In 2007, 
She took a starring role in Damages as no-nonsense lawyer Patty Hughes, fueling a run that gave her a Golden Globe and two Emmy wins through the show's five seasons. It's rare to have a woman, a mature woman, in a position of real power where she's calling the shots and she's in with the big guys, Close explained. It's fun. Following the conclusion of Damages, Close found her way back to Broadway in a 2014 revival of Edward Albee's A Delicate Balance. In 2016, she revisited the role of Norma Desmond in a London West End production of Sunset Boulevard. More Oscar attention for Albert Nobbs, The Wife and Hillbilly Elegy. Along with her acclaimed television and theater work, Close continued to find film roles to her liking. She earned the sixth Oscar nomination of her career for her contributions to Albert Nobbs, 2011, playing a butler who shields her true gender to retain her hotel job. The Wife, which earned its theatrical release in 2018, featured Close as an unheralded writer who watches her husband earn credit for her work as she faces an unfulfilled life of domesticity. Her performance led to a Golden Globe win, accompanied by a powerful acceptance speech, and left her as the frontrunner to claim a long-awaited Academy Award. Close's role in 2020's Hillbilly Elegy earned her several award nominations including the Oscar for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Personal Life Relationships and Family Close has been married three times, with each marriage ending in divorce. Her first marriage, at age 22, which Close has described as, kind of an arranged marriage, ended before she attended college. This marriage, from 1969 to 1971, was to Cabot Wade, a guitarist and songwriter with whom she had performed during her time at Up With People. She was married to businessman James Marlis from 1984 to 1987. Later, Close began a relationship with producer John Stark, whom she had met on the set of The World According to Garp. Their daughter, Annie Stark, was born in 1988 and is an actress. Close and Stark separated in 1991. In 1995, Close was engaged to carpenter Steve Beers, who had worked on Sunset Boulevard, the two never Business married, ventures and their and relationship assets. ended in 1999. As of 2016, in February Close 2006, primarily resides in Bedford Close Hills, New York, and, York, and also owns a condo in the West in Maine, Maine, Village, but they divorced she in also August 2015. Owns properties in Wellington, Florida, and Bozeman, Montana. In the early 1990s she owned a coffee shop in Bozeman but sold it in 2006. In 2011 Close sold her apartment in the Beresford for $10.2 million. She also runs a 1,000-acre ranch in Wyoming. Close is the president of Trillium Productions Incorporated. Her company has produced films like Albert Nobbs, Sarah Plain and Tall, and South Pacific. With Barbara Streisand she produced the TV film Serving in Silence, 1995, for which both were nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Television Movie. In 2007 she co-founded Fetch Dog, a dog accessories catalog and internet site. Part of her work was publishing blogs in which she interviewed other celebrities about their relationships with their dogs. She sold the business in 2012. Interests and Views Close was born into a Democratic family. Her political donations have mostly been made in support of Democratic politicians, including Hillary Clinton, Howard Dean, John Edwards, Angus King, and Barack Obama. Close also spoke at the 2004 Democratic National Convention. She voted for Obama in the 2008 presidential election and attended his inauguration. In a 2016 interview with Andrew Marr for the BBC, Close criticized then-presidential candidate Donald Trump, calling his campaign, terribly frightening. She reiterated her sentiments about Trump in 2017, stating that, he doesn't stand for anything I believe in. In 2018, she campaigned for Kathleen Williams and Debbie Stabenow in each of their respective elections. Close keeps all of her costumes after completing films and rents them out to exhibits. She lent one of the dresses she wore in Dangerous Liaisons to Madonna for her 1990 VMA performance of Vogue. In 2017, she donated her entire costume collection to Indiana University Bloomington. Close is a New York Mets fan, and has sung the national anthem at Shea Stadium and City Field numerous times since 1986. Due to her upbringing, Close has stated that she is a spiritual but irreligious person age, 76 years, old Glenn Close 2024. Family Spouse-ex-David Evans Shaw, 
M. 2006, James Milas, Jack Roos, M. 1965 to 1968. Father, William Taliaferro Close. Mother, Bedine Close. Siblings, Jesse. Children, Annie Stark. What is Glenn Close's net worth? Net worth, Glenn Close is worth $50 million in 2024.